Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to implement authentication in Laravel application with the help of Laravel Breeze, that is a Laravel package. And uh, we will implement, uh, and this package will implement all of the uh, options that is, that is uh, essential in authentication, like login, registration, email verification, and um, et cetera, et cetera. So, we will follow some steps to create our, uh, uh, to add this breeze option in our application. So at the first step is to create your Laravel application. If you already have created your Laravel application, you can easily skip you this step. Now uh, let's create the Laravel application. Now here you can see we are creating our Laravel application with the help of Composer. So uh, uh, let's create this application. And after that follow, we will dive into the second step. Now here you can see our application has been created successfully. So now let's open this up in our code editor. So I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor. Uh, open your application in uh, the code editor you have. Now here you can see our Laravel application is in the in our uh, code editor in our Visual Studio. Now uh, first uh, let's run this application to make sure that we do not have any error. PHP or descend serve. Okay, our application is running fine. Now here you can see, uh, if you notice, whenever you create your Laravel application, you will get this page. Uh, and in the, at the top side of your Laravel, of, your, of this page, you do not have any options here. Okay. So when we will add a Laravel Breeze package in our application and implement all uh, the steps to uh, create Laravel Breeze application, so we will see, uh, we, we can easily see that at the top of this page, the login and registration uh, option uh, has uh, will uh, automatically created. Now let's open your Visual Studio and follow some steps. Open your terminal, and you have to uh, enter some commands. Now the first command you have to enter is uh, installing Laravel Breeze. And the command for installing Laravel Breeze is composer require Laravel slash Breeze dev. Okay, so here you can see composer require Laravel slash Breeze dev. Press enter. Now, after installing Laravel Breeze package, you have to uh, uh, you have to run uh, this command php artisan breeze colon install. Now here you can see we have a suggestion in Visual Studio Code after running this command that please execute the npm install and npm run dev command to build your assets. Now, first we will run this npm install. So let's run npm install. Now, after running npm install, you need to run this npm run dev command. So let's run this command npm run dev. Now it will uh, build your Laravel application, build your assets, and then uh, you are good to go to migrate your migrations. Now, after run, running this command, uh, npm run dev, you just need to uh, run your migrations. 
so before running your migration uh, we need to uh, uh, create our uh, database so uh, let's open your mysql server and let's create a database So here you can see our Laravel AppDB database has been created. Now let's uh, uh, enter this database credential in our .env file. So open your .env file and you can see here DB connection MySQL. So here enter your uh, database name. Uh, our database name is Laravel AppDB. and our username is root and password is empty. Now, uh, if we uh, see our uh, database folder and then migration, then Laravel Breeze has created uh, and updated some migrations for us. And if we look at the views, then we also have some folders and views uh, automatically generated by the uh, Breeze package. So uh, now let's run uh, migration php artisan migrate. Now here you can see uh, all of the migration in our Laravel application has been migrated. Now uh, let's run this application and let's see uh, our uh, Breeze authentication has been added or not php artisan serve okay our application is running fine now here you can see our application is running fine and in this application we have uh, automatically uh, and laravel breeze automatically generated the login and registrations options here and here you can see uh, the login uh, form here at the route slash login and if we go to the uh, if we go to a register then we also have register so in the database we uh, we can see all of the tables that we just migrated <clears throat> and in the users table uh, we can see we have empty table so let's add this uh, they'll add some data in this table from this application. And this Laravel Breeze uh, uh, is using uh, Tailwind CSS for to generating your application UI front end part. Now, uh, if I add, uh, uh, add if I add a wrong confirmation password, so let's see what happens. Click register, and here you can see a beautiful errors. The password con confirmation doesn't match. Now uh, let's add a, a right password. Okay, must be at least eight characters. So here you can see the beautiful validation from the Breeze package. Register. Now here you can see our uh, user has been registered successfully and we have a beautiful dashboard here and we have login here. Uh, in our application with a user John Doe. And if I uh, refresh the database, so here you can see in the user's table, we have uh, all the details related to the uh, uh, John Doe users. Now, if I log out and if I go to login and if I uh, enter wrong credentials, and then enter login. 
Now here you can see these credential doesn't match our record. So we have a beautiful UI, beautiful validations with the help of uh, Laravel Breeze package. Now let's log in with uh, true credentials. Now here you can see the user has been logged in successfully. So uh, we have implemented Laravel Breeze package successfully in our uh, Laravel application with some simple steps. So I hope that this video will be um, helpful to you to impl in implementing Laravel Breeze package in your application.